Hi everybody, this is City Readings and hi Aries. Let's see what messages will show up for you guys. Let's see, what do we have for Aries, please? What do we have for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. What do we have for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. In case this resonates, there will be a link in the description box to the reading about your person. How are they thinking, feeling about you, their next moves? Where are things going between you two? And advice from spirit. So do check it out. It will be linked below. Let's see. What do we have for Aries, please? Freedom. A lot of you are letting go of something. You're letting go of something. You're freeing yourself from something, okay? All right. What do we have for... What do we have for... Aries, please. What do we have for Aries, please? Look at that, the Grim Reaper. Something here is coming to an end. Big time, Aries, big, big time. There is something that is coming to an end, okay? But with a Cupid's arrow right next to that ending card, there's also something new on the horizon for you, okay? I do feel like there is going to be a lot of focus on social interactions. Maybe if you're on the internet, then I see you getting a lot of attention. Um, you know, there is a lot of focus on social interactions, friendships, okay? But we will see. We will see what shows up for you. What do we have for Aries, please? Looks like there has been a missed opportunity between you and somebody, Aries, and I see you letting go, okay? I see you letting go. Oh, let's see, what do we have for Aries, please? I feel like Aries, you're open and receptive to something, but you're not going to lower your standards to be with somebody, okay? It just looks like a lot of you have become very clear with the choices that you're making when it comes to love. Um, and it also looks like you've lost your passion for somebody or a certain situation, okay? Um, it's like you have made peace with the fact that, okay, this, does, this doesn't work out for me and I'm not even interested, but at the same time, I feel like you're open and receptive to new changes or new things, especially with that freedom energy and the Four of Cups. It's like being receptive to the new, being receptive to new possibilities. With the Nine of Pentacles, there's something very nice going on with your money situation, okay? Uh, making good money, taking care of yourself, seven of swords reverse. For some of you, maybe some form of truth came out about somebody. Okay. There's also a lot of focus on your subconscious mind, on your intuition. Um, but there's like a sense of... Um, some of you are really, really feeling comfortable at home, okay? You're, you have become a homebody. 
Yeah, look at that devil reverse. Some of you are seriously releasing somebody from the past who revealed themselves, okay? And it, it looks like the situation was toxic. And there is really a lot of focus on you releasing this toxic situation, whatever it was. Okay, whatever it was. Let's see. What is coming up for Aries next? What is coming up for Aries? What is coming up for Aries? All right, so Aries, if there is something that you're worried worried about, I don't feel like it's going to worry you anymore, but there is a need for balance uh, and patience. Avoid making any reckless decisions, okay? Um, especially when it comes to money. I'm really getting that Aries, some of you make really good money and there is somebody around you who's envious of you or like there is somebody around you who doesn't want you to make what you make, okay? It's like somebody's looking at you making money or somebody's looking at you doing good in your life and they're giving, you know, they're looking at you with the side eye, okay? So just be very careful and protect your energy because it's like somebody's waiting for your demise. Somebody's waiting that you make one reckless move. Especially when it comes to money. I'm telling you, um, invest money wisely. Or if you're about to purchase something big, then hold up. Look at that Four of Pentacles. Hold up. Protect what's yours. Look at how he's sitting on that treasure box. Okay? that treasure chest whatever it is that's yours protect it also protect your energy okay because with the nine of pentacles you are doing good you are looking good smelling good you're not in a needy energy you're letting go and somebody's not having it show me what's their person's energy <laughs> death reverse five of wands oh my goodness okay so to me it looks like you look at this person and you feel like oh what a waste of time this person's gonna come in and waste my time and this is somebody who's like they don't which is a good thing that this person doesn't come from a needy place but with the death reverse this person feels like there's some unfinished business between you and them what is the outcome of the situation for aries and their advice please Outcome is the Page of Pentacles. Advice is the Page of Wands. There is something new showing up here for you. A new path, a new person. There's definitely something new in the energy here that I see you exploring, okay? Could be money related or could be anything else even, but there is definitely something new on the horizon for you. Their advice has a lot to do with opening up to it. King of Cups. Maybe there's a new person coming your way justice to the moon two of cups 
Aries, there is a relationship here for you. Maybe it's not going to manifest all of a sudden, but there is a relationship here that may start off as the page of wands, which is like, hey, how are you doing? Just like a casual conversation. And it could lead to something good. Okay. Look at that, the world. But there is a need for you to let go of something. You know, this is fear, anxiety, and anxiousness from the past or past belief system surrounding your relationship. Like page of wands, like this has the potential to turn into the two of cups. Again, I'm seeing more than one person here, <laughs> okay? I'm seeing more than one person. Because look at this, the Grim, the Grim Reaper and Cupid's Arrow. This in itself is also talking about ending something and opening up to something. Opening up to some form of a new opportunity, okay? Let's read for you, Freedom. Your soul is open to receiving new wisdom and insights that will allow it to make the right choice, choices for its own growth. Remember, you are never a victim of other people or their circumstances. You have complete control over your own choices and by following your heart and being authentic to yourself, you present the real you to the world. Making decisions based on other people's expectations is not the true path to happiness. You are responsible for creating your own reality. So that's about it, Aries. Those were the messages that showed up for you. I hope that you were open to receive these messages and I hope that you got something out of the reading. And um, I will be linking the reading about your person underneath the video as well as bonus messages from Spirit. So do check it out. It will be linked below. Take care and bye-bye.